with us. Can you stomp your feet? Hey, we gotta start by stomping. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody stomp your feet on the floor. Okay, now we can clap your hands. Love it. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody clap your hands on the floor. Sassy fingers? Yeah. Sit on your pockets. Here we go. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody have a seat on the floor. Okay, Layla, what are we talking about today? Wait, right here. call for Lilo really, really loud, she'll come back, okay? All right, ready? One, two, three. Lilo! <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, what does it look like? You're a potato. Yeah. A potato? Totally a potato. How many potatoes are orange? Sweet potatoes. Oh! Okay, I'm not a potato. I'm not a potato. Okay, you're a cantaloupe. No. I'm not round. Give me a hint. A better Long hint. and skinny. Long and skinny. Long and skinny. Are you in the ground? I'm in the ground. <gasps> Do we pull you up out of the ground? Mm-hmm. Ooh, you're a radish. Really? <laughs> Try again. Ooh, are you a carrot? I'm a carrot. A carrot. Is it gardening? Yes, we're gonna go to the garden. Glorious gardens, I love gardens. Yeah. Well, what other stuff are we gonna do? We're gonna, what are we gonna do first? We're gonna go on a field trip. But don't we have to, we have to start very small, Leila. That's true. We have to start with the seed. I love seeds. We're gonna talk about seeds. Okay, okay, seeds. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a field trip to the garden. I love field trips. We have some cool books that you can check out from the library oh, that we're gonna talk about. Good, because we can give the kids ideas for what to read at home. Okay. We have a puppet show about bugs. A puppet show! Yay! Puppet show about bugs. Awesome. And do we have a craft? We have a craft. Oh, I love crafts. Flower craft. So much fun. So it should be fun. Okay, this will be really fun. Alright, here okay. we go! Would you like to see where plants start from? Plants start from something called a seed. And seeds can come in all different shapes and sizes. In fact, we've got some seeds right here. If you look right here at these teeny tiny seeds, those are tomato seeds. So those are gonna grow into tomato plants. These black ones over here, that's a sunflower. And these big ones right here, those are lima beans. Now, do you guys know what happens when you give a seed some water and a little bit of sunlight? They grow. They grow into a plant, like this one right here. So we at the library started some seeds for you guys to see. Now, if you look really closely down there, you can see some little white roots that are coming out. And up here, we've got some sprouts. These are tomato plants. And then we did some more that are a little bit bigger. See that? How cool is that? Now, would you guys like to do a science experiment at home? How would you guys like to sprout your very own seeds? We're gonna make a greenhouse. So what you're gonna need for your greenhouse is a Ziploc baggie, a napkin or a paper towel, some water, and some seeds. Now you can run to the store and you can buy some seeds if you'd like to, or you can take a little adventure outside. So even though it's spring, some plants still have seeds on them. I've got some trees out front that drop their seeds in the springtime. So you can walk around and you can see what kind of seeds you can find. Pick them up and bring them home and you can get them to grow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our napkin and we're gonna stuff it inside of our Ziploc baggie. Just 
just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take our seeds and we're gonna stick it inside. Well, let's put water in first. Put some water inside your baggie and get your napkin nice and wet. Now you don't want it so wet that it's too drippy, but you wanna make sure you get your whole napkin all nice and wet. You're gonna take your seeds, and I'm gonna choose these big old lima beans, and you're gonna stick them in on the wet napkin. And then push all the air out of your baggie, and zip it up. Now if you hang your baggie up in a window, these seeds in a few days are gonna sprout. And the first thing that they do is they grow some roots, and then they grow those little green sprouts like you saw on the tomato. So have fun making a greenhouse. Hi everybody, welcome to my garden. So I thought I would bring you along today um, to my garden while I looked for some treasures out in my garden. Um, you guys like to dig out in the garden? I love to dig out in the garden. It's one of my favorite things. Sometimes I find bugs. I thought maybe I could see if I could find a bug. Oh. Did I found one? Look at this. What's that, guys? A big fat worm. Sometimes when you go digging out in your garden, you can find some cool bugs like worms. Worms are really good for gardens. Um, they eat the dead stuff like leaves and grass and just all the dead stuff, and they make it into really good soil for your garden. So worms are really Really good to have in your garden. And this one's a nice fat one. He must have been eating a lot. All right, let's put him back in and let's see if we can find something else. Actually, I want to show you guys something really cool. A lot of times when we're out in the garden, we get to see the top parts of our plants. Would you guys like to see what's underneath the soil? If you go out in the garden with your mom and dad's permission and you dig up and you can see what grows underneath. So up here at the top, we've got some leaves up there. This is a type of lettuce, kind of a cool looking purple lettuce. And then this is the stem, but look at here. This is what we don't usually get to see. This is the roots of the plant. That's so cool. This is the part that's underneath the ground and it brings up all the water the nutrition that the plants need to grow. Is that cool? I think that's pretty cool. That's some pretty fun stuff I have out in my garden. And you guys, if you feel like it, can go outside in your garden or just outside in the dirt and dig up and see what you can find. Hi guys, I wanted to show you another part of my garden and something kind of fun that I have in my garden that not everybody does. Yay, tiki 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 tiki. Yay, tiki 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 tiki. I have chickens in my yard. These are my hens. And chickens are really good for catching bugs. And at the end of the season, I like to let them in the garden. And they just kind of clean up all the bugs and the old plants. And they dig and they have dirt baths because chickens have dirt baths instead of regular baths. But they're pretty fun to have in the garden. I have 14 of them. Um, and then over here in this bed, these are radishes right here. So I've got lots of radishes. In fact, I thought maybe we would pull one up and see what it looks like. So this one right here looks nice and big. Let's pull it up and see how they are looking. That, we've got a little ways to go still on that because usually radishes are round. But you can see the root, the nice big root that we talked about before. Radishes are really cool because you can eat their leaves or you can eat their root part. It's a pretty good looking radish. All right, the other thing I wanted to show you guys out in my garden is some of the other stuff I have planted. So over here I have peas. Right over here we've got some kale and chard over here and some spinach over here. These are all spring plants, things that grow early. And then this is the other reason I have chickens. Because we get some cool eggs. 
And I have all different colors of eggs. These ones are green. And there's blue. Brown. This one is a pink. And then, of course, the normal white. So that's just some fun stuff I have out in my garden. Hi, guys. I thought I'd feed my chickens a little snack. Okay guys, look at how tall my grass, okay, just kidding. It's not grass, this is garlic that I'm growing. Garlic is fun because you plant it in September and it sleeps in the, in the beds all winter long and then come spring, like early spring, like February, March, you start seeing it sprout. And then in July, I'll pull it up and I'll have big old heads of garlic. So this is fun, I love to grow garlic. Oh, hi guys, I didn't know you were here. Welcome to my lettuce bed. I bet you guys didn't know that there were this many colors of lettuce. Most of the time when you go to the grocery store, there's just your regular old green lettuce. But in this bed, I have 10 different types of lettuce. And I've got red. This one is my very favorite. It is spark, it's sparkly. I wanna say sparkly, it's not sparkly. It's um, freckled, I call it freckled. Isn't that fun? So my lettuce, when I make salad, my lettuce is not just green. It's red and pink and all different colors because all different colors of lettuce is really yummy to eat. All right, kids. Are you ready for some book recommendations? We've got some cool books here at the library on gardens. Definitely. Bugs and all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, what would story time be without books? True story. And this will be fun because you can get these from the library and then read them together with your family. Yep. All right. Hey, you want to start, Leela? Yeah. So what did you find? I found this book called Curious Garden, and I really liked this one. And this is cool because it has a yeah. CD included, so, so fun. you can listen. Well, who's the author? Author is Peter Brown. Oh, good stuff. And this one was really cool because at the beginning of the book, he starts out in the city. Oh, it's and so there's cool. not really wow. any cool. garden there. And he, if he finds some wildflowers and decides he wants to take care of them. And before you know it, there's lots of garden. Which doesn't is, take very long. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> makes me happy. Yeah, definitely. What did you find, Megan? Okay, I love for the little bitty kiddos who are just learning to read, this is called Worm is Hot. And it's just super easy reader to start out, Worm is Hot, right? So you can go through that if you've got a kiddo who's learning to read. It's got to start small. It's true. A worm is definitely small. Really small. Really well, I don't know that worm we found was pretty big. We did find it. They get really creepy when they get really big, though. <laughs> well, speaking of creepy bugs, uh, I think worms are okay, but snails are kind of nasty. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, though. And this is this is fun because this is a nonfiction book. Yeah, this is a nonfiction book. It's about real life. All about snails. So it tells you about what snails are really like. I love it. And here was something cool that was in the book that I didn't know. Snails only have one foot. Yeah. And like oh. one foot, that's it. Wow. Can you imagine like crawling along on one foot? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little creepy. So can he, does he have athlete's foot if he's super slow? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh, she uh. did. Yes, she did. <gasps> Leela! What? Do you want to go see some monsters? Ew. Monsters can be real. No, my mom said that there's no such thing as monsters. There are monsters in the forest. I'm not going to the forest. There are monsters in your house. What? I bet there are even monsters in your bed. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to see monsters. That's what? Guess what? And it
patch of a shrinking into monster land thing, right? There's grass. I'm gonna look for some bugs. Okay, you guys help me find some bugs, okay? Bugs! Bugs! Woo! I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. You startled me. You are a really big spider. I am a really big spider. I did shrink a little bit, but you're big. Well, I mean, I've been eating a lot of bugs. I bet. Well, so what are you good for? Spiders are just kind of there to scare everybody. Oh, no, we're not. We're not that scary. No. Well, what no. do you do that's good? Well, we spin webs. Okay, I've heard and that. And we catch those nasty bugs that bug you like mosquitoes. Yes. And flies. We catch them and we eat them. Well, I'm so glad. Thank you. Yeah, see, we're nice bugs. We're oh, good bugs. Let me give you a hug. Oh. Oh, you're still kind so of scary. So maybe don't squish me when you see me. Maybe I won't squish you. Well, I mean, thank you. You've kind of scared so me before, you know? We're not scary. All right. I'm going to go get some bugs, though. I'm starving. Okay, say hi to Itsy Bitsy. Bye. Say hi to Itsy Weensy for me. Wow. Spiders are amazing. I had no idea that they were so helpful. I always kind of thought of them like they were monsters for real. I wonder if we can find any more bugs that will maybe help the garden. I wonder if any bugs are bad for the garden. We'll have to find out. But you have to help me look. Okay, bugs, bugs! Oh, you are so pretty. Look, it's a butterfly. I love butterflies. Well, thank you. Now tell me, butterfly, what do you do for the garden? Oh, I am so good for the garden. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a pollinator. A pollinator? So mm -hmm. what does that mean? Well, that means I find from flower to flower to flower, and I spread pollen so that uh, flowers turn into fruits and vegetables. Oh, wow! So, like, you take all that green stuff that makes me sneeze in the spring, and you just move it around everywhere? I do! Well, that's a pretty important job. Yeah, it's really important. But okay. Can I tell you a little secret? Tell me. I want to know. I'm the prettiest bug in the garden. And the most humble. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're beautiful. Thank you for telling me, because I didn't know how important butterflies were. Well, now you know. Now I know. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye. Oh, she's so pretty. I just want to touch her, but I've heard you're not supposed to touch butterfly wings or else it breaks them. Ooh, butterflies are so fragile. I wonder if there are any bugs in the garden that we can still meet. Hmm. Oh, well, hi! Who are you? Hello. Hello! <laughs> I'm a snail. You're a snail! Well, snail, are you good for the garden? Well, I'm a Okay, we will slow down these questions. Snail, what do you do in the garden? I eat your plants. No. I'm a pesky pest. You know what? We were just wondering if there were any pests in our garden. And you eat my vegetables. Well, you better stay away from them. But yeah. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Well, go to Leela's garden, not mine. But I think your tomatoes look tasty. But I want to eat my own tomatoes. Don't eat Here my tomatoes. I go. Oh, no. Is that as fast as you go? And I leave slime. And you leave slime. Okay, so this is cool. He's a pesky pest, but I can see where he's going because he leaves a slime trail. And he is not fast, so I can catch him really quick. I'm gonna have to go find him before, well, before he gets to my tomatoes. Here I come. I'm gonna have to hurry. He seems like he's speeding up. 
All right, I bet there are more bugs in the garden though that are super helpful. What do you think? I know one that's my favorite and he makes a very special sound. Do you hear it? What is that bug? Can you guess? Do you see him? Mr. B, hi! Hello! You're one of my favorite bugs. Oh, thank you so much. You are so important. You're like a superstar bug. Oh, well, you know, I'm really a hardworking bee. You are a hardworking bee. Bees work very, very hard. We do. We and do. you know, you make the most delicious thing. We make honey. You make honey. I love honey. I think everybody loves honey. Oh, it's so tasty. Totally tasty. Wow, and what else do you do in the garden, Mr. Oh, I'm also a pollinator. You also grab that stuff that makes me sneeze. I do, I do, and I spread it from flower to flower to flower. Okay. And then that makes the yummy fruits and vegetables that you eat for dinner. And it makes the fruits and veggies grow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Well, good. Well, you helped my tomatoes grow, and now the snail's going to go help eat them. Uh-oh. I know. Well, you're busy, oh, but I gotta get off to work. Okay, you're so busy. Hard workers. These are very hard workers. Okay, thank you for coming, Mr. B. You guys, we learned so many cool things about bugs. Bugs are so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna go find Leela and tell her all the cool stuff we learned. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, you guys ready for some garden crafts? This will be fun. It's gonna be way fun. Totally. In fact, we're making my favorite thing in the garden. Oh, what is it? Flowers. Oh, I should have known. Flowers. <laughs> All right, so we have two different crafts for you today. Mine is cupcake wrapper flowers. So cute. They turn out really cute. And what's yours, Megan? Mine is a tissue paper flower. <laughs> Very they're pretty. So pretty. I know, if they're really good at weddings, yeah. save a lot of money. Remind me of peonies or roses. Something nice and beautiful and fluffy. I love fluffy. <laughs> okay, so to start off with mine, you're going to need some cupcake cupcake wrappers, a glue stick, some crayons, and something for the center of your flower. You can choose buttons or puff balls, or maybe you have some pretty gems. Ooh, I like that one. Do you like those? So. So start off, you get your cupcake wrapper and you're gonna flatten it out. Nice and flat. And you want to kind of flip it inside out so that the pretty part, the pretty colored part, is on the inside. Oh, I love it. You're gonna take your glue stick, put some glue on the, what was the inside, but now the outside of your flower. Sticky like a cupcake but yeah. not quite the same. Not as tasty. Not as tasty. I'm gonna do two on this one. I'm gonna do this one also. I like the polka dots, I like the polka dots. Yes, go with the polka dots. You could even double layer your flower if you wanted. You could, you could do more than one layer, mm -hmm. more than one color. That would be fun. Okay, so now it looks like this. Okay, then you're gonna take your crayon and you can use whatever color you want, but I'm gonna use green. And you're gonna make some stems for your flowers. You could add bugs, and you could add the sky, and the sun, whatever you want yeah. to. That would be fun. Caterpillars, maybe. Definitely caterpillar. Maybe a bee. A bee. That's like a good, yeah, buzzy bee. Mm -hmm. I love that. Bees are important for flowers too. See, stem, and like we said, you can add all those other things to your flowers. I think bees are a good idea. Bees are a good idea. All right, and then you're gonna pick this, whatever you want for the center of your flower. I'm gonna choose my pretty little gem here. I think I'm gonna put the gem in the pink one. Oh, good idea. Right in the center of the pink one. Oh, it's so sparkly. And then, you know what, I'm gonna choose a button. I like this button, this is the button. Button in the center of. Yeah, you can use all different kinds of things that you have at your house. Whatever you so can So long find, as it's we'll okay with your parents. Yeah. You could even go get flowers from outside and put them in the sun. You could. Ta-da! Wonderful. So cute, Lee. They turn out pretty cute, huh? They're, they're very fun. Okay, and easy Megan. enough to do. Okay, for mine, you're going to need tissue paper. You can use different colors if you want. And you need scissors. And you need a stapler. All right, so what you do is you start off. 
I cut mine about eight by eight inches square. You could cut it in a rectangle and it would kind of fluff around more. So you can do that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stack them together so they're pretty close to being all the same in the same spot. And then you're gonna fold them accordion style. So I'm gonna take it up about an inch and then press across the bottom to make my fold and then I'm gonna flip it over and make another fold. And I'm just gonna do that all the way across. All the way up? Super easy, oh, right? That is way easy. Yeah, not too bad. I like the colors you chose. I know, I like the I like a lot of brightness and happiness. Yes, and I love purples and yellows yes. and oranges. And flowers can come in so many beautiful colors, so they attract those bees. Right, and, and did you know that flowers can even be green? Really? Uh -huh, I have some green flowers in my garden. I think I've heard of hydrangeas that are green. Azenia's coming green too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my stapler after I folded it all the way across, and I am gonna put a staple right in the center. Yoink. Just like that. Now if you want to, you can even be extra fancy and curve the top, which will make it look a little bit like petals. Ooh, that's cool. I know, it is really cool. I've made too many of these in my life. It's definitely, it's not right. <laughs> And then you're gonna fluff one side open. You're gonna do it to both sides. But I'm just gonna show you the one side because it is, this is the part that takes a little bit of time. And we don't want you to all fall asleep on the craft part of story time, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna carefully, very carefully, as tissue paper is so delicate. So I'm just gonna fluff up each color, give it a little bit of room between each layer. And then you'll see that as they puff, they look like a flower. That's such a pretty flower. I know, and I love the different colors. And if you have green on there, you can make it look kind of like the bottom of the flower by turning it the other direction and fluffing it. I know. What a good idea. So fun, right? And then you just do that to both sides. And then when you're done, just kind of look at it and fluff it up how you like it. It turns That's out really great. nice. And just do the same thing to the other side. That's really cool. Yeah. Have fun making the crafts, guys. I love flowers. See ya. Bye. Leela, gardens are so much fun. I had a lot of fun. Today was a good day. It was. All right. I hope you guys had fun too. Yeah, but you know what? We can't end story time without the check out a book song. That's true. Can you guys clap with us? Check out a book. Check out a book. Read a book from your library. Check out a book, check out a book, read a book from your library. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next time.